version and the 3D version. I hate 3D because uh, the blacks and the whites, they suck. It, it, it takes away the color and, uh, and, and takes away resolution. Uh, in the case of gravity, I have to say I prefer in 3D with all of those misgivings. I prefer it because it was designed like that. Now, 3D is, everybody talks about 3D uh, from Avatar on, thinking about the 50s. The first 3D film was, was, was done in 1896, two years after the Lumiere brothers invented uh, cinema. And it looks really cool, even that one. And the, the 3D as a tool, I think, is a fantastic tool. What I don't believe is that it's a tool that has to be universalized. You know, it needs to have a reason. It's like any other tool in cinema. How do you fellas feel about it? I, I, I feel, I mean, obviously, you know, we're really, we shot, I shot The Amazing Spider-Man in 3D in stereo. Um, and, and this one, I, I shot it on anamorphic, anamorphic format, form, and we're doing a, a sort of post uh, conversion process, but we're doing it. We still conceive yeah, the movie in very specifically certain circumstances and scenes with 3D in mind, and, and but it's. I think the delivery mechanism for 3D is really so it can be volatile. You know what I mean? You need to like the, the, that needs to be a, the right lighting circumstances, uh, really good screens, and any time that that's not very precise, it's frustrating because the, the image is dark. But um, you know, you and, only, the, and the silver screens they really suck. Yeah, they're terrible, and it's it, it's it's you only have so much control over that as a filmmaker, and that's very difficult. And that's something that I think people need to uh, you know if you're a 3D filmmaker, you need to sort of engage in uh, how exhibitors exhibit uh, 3D films. But people, you know, some people really enjoy it. I think there's the controversy is totally makes sense because sometimes it's it's it's, it's plugged on by the marketing people, and that's it's a very, very frustrating thing as a filmmaker to have that kind of pressure applied to to, to, to your film. But I do think it is an incredible format and has enormous possibilities. For Spider-Man, when you're trying to sense that sense of space and velocity and volume, it's, it, it can be exquisite at its best. It can also be really terrible. I, I think, you know, I, I got to see a lot of movies at the cinema, and I sometimes like choose to see the flat version. I can see but Gravity and Amazing Spider-Man, why it would want to be in 3D, because you've got one where the heroine is in deep space, you know, and another one where like, the hero flies through the air, and they're both good reasons to be in 3D. And I think why most people are lukewarm on the format is you see too many bad ones where it's been done after the fact. And like sometimes I got to see movies like where it's just like, it's become a very dark experience, and you know, and it just feels like another $2 in your ticket, and I, I call it like blockbuster tax. Um, <laughs> But it can be done really well. Like, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the format. Like, when it's just coming out every week. But Life of Pi was great in 3D. Yeah. Avatar was great in 3D. You know, Hugo was great in 3D. So if it's done well, yeah. I think there's a reason. But I think why people get tired of it is when it's like it's just slapped onto every film every week. There's so many great questions out there. We're unfortunately going to have to wrap it up. Uh, people want to know how to sign their children up to be stunt boys. <laughs> people would like you, Alfonso, to do your impression of George Clooney's accent. <laughs> but um, uh, one of the questions here, the one I'm going to end on, is uh, uh, Donna Anderson asks, uh, Mr. Wright, what's going on with Ant-Man? Any updates? But I want next on the horizon for you in terms of even if it's not something that's solid but what you'd love to do well I'm gonna be doing Ant-Man in 3D um, <laughs> <laughs> no uh, I um, yeah I'm making this movie for Marvel next um, and uh, you know people have asked me why is it taking so long and I keep saying my, my new answer is like well I wanted to do it with 2015 effects and not 2005 effects <laughs> so it'd be better for the wait Mark, what would you like to do on the horizon? Well, is there a dream project that, like... I want to finish The Amazing Spider-Man 2. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, there's a many, many, many things, but it's, it's, it's hard to say right now. I'm just so involved in it. Is there even a genre, if not a particular story? Well, you know, there's, a, there's, you know, there's, there's uh, more Spider-Man universe to speak of, certainly. But there's, all, there's other projects that I would love to do down the road. So I want to do some musicals I'd like to do. Uh, 
you know, there's some, you know, there's a physical comedy thing that I've been uh, messing around with. I don't know uh, when that's going to happen necessarily, but uh, uh, I'm uh, looking forward to that. How's that for a bit? <laughs> yeah. And have them kind of in Edgar, the, the Cornetto around. trilogy is right. what people call the, the, the films, Shaun, uh, Shaun of the Dead and the Hot Fuzz and The World's End. Is, is there quart quartology possibly? I think we, people always gave us like, a lot of um, a hard time for not doing a third series of space. So I always like the fact that we said we do three and we've done three, then like you're just going to have to be satisfied with it. We made good on one promise <laughs> and made the trilogy. And I, I, I definitely like to work with Simon Pegg and Nick Frost again. but. We literally finished this film three weeks ago, so the thought of more, I don't know what that is. You're done with them, just say it. No, I love those guys. <laughs> I'll never They're dead to you. <laughs> Alfonso, uh, how about you? I mean, this Gravity was a, a dream project. You've lived with it for many years. Is there one on the horizon now that you're striving for? Let's call it a dream, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the, the thing is this, again, it was a, uh, uh, an amazing miscalculation, and the, the film was it just took longer than, than I thought, and it was supposed to be finished. It was supposed to be released last November. Uh, we were not ready, and I haven't finished it yet. But uh, one day I'll finish it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, but, uh, 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 they, I would like to do a horror movie. There we go. I want to see the Alfonso horror movie. Guys, thank you so much. Let's hear a round of applause.